Hello, let's have a look at how to customize our taskbar. Okay, the easiest way is how it comes to you is basically pretty much like this. Okay, whoops. Let's click on here, go to properties, and where do we want it? Okay, let's keep it at the bottom and then click apply. That's how it normally comes with Windows. Now, we might want to move this around. We can basically drag it there. Okay, providing this lock button is off. Okay, you can happily drag things around. Okay, alternatively, you can use this bottom, left, right, top. Okay, use peak to preview the desktop. Okay, that's quite nice. Basically, if you bring your mouse over here, let's assume you have some program opened up and you can't really see what's on the desktop. Okay, you bring your mouse over there doesn't really do much. Use peak, bring your mouse over there, and it should. There we go, it shows the desktop. Okay, brilliant. Now we can get rid of that one. Okay, for now. Okay, auto hide the toolbar. Some people like a full screen. Okay, you might want to use that. Basically, there you go. So you've got your full screen. You bring your mouse down, and it should come back. There we go. All right. It is a little bit slow on the return side, but it does do the job. I think the main thing is, if you need that full screen, for example, you're in graphics, that does help. Okay. Another issue that we can do is basically have our privacy. Okay, now by keeping these things, it shows recent items that were used when basically you opened a program. For example, let's show our... There we go. Now, oops, apply. Now, over here in my notepad, okay, if I right click on it, it instantly shows me what was used before. Okay, now if I wanted to get rid of that, okay, store and display, you could, we could clear that, click apply. Some people like privacy, some people might want that extra easy facility. You right click on it, now it doesn't show what my previous programs were. If you do like to jump quickly to the last pro files or whatever used or whatever actions done within the program, you might want to keep this history thing going. Okay, there we go. That's fine. You can change the number in the list. For example, last time when we right-clicked on it, it showed one. You can increase it so it can show all the way up to 10, 20, whatever. You know. Okay. Now, there might be extra toolbars that you might want to add to it. Okay, you might want to add... An address toolbar, links toolbar, show the search box, okay, all those things, they all add on extra over here. At the same time, you might like, shall we say, small little icons, okay? If you like to save space, they've all become quite small now. Okay, now let's go back to our properties. Okay, you might like the big size one. There's another option over here, okay? Combine with the taskbar as well. Whenever you keep opening up a program, it keeps this little bit over here with the tasks for the, ta for the program. You might want to, shall we say, always combine, so it keeps adding more and more and more and more, but it hides the label. Right now you've got taskbar and start menu, sticky notes, etc. The label is there. If you click on that, it's got all the icons, but it removes the label. Okay, let's keep our label going for right now. Now, another lovely little feature is basically let's assume this program's open in the background. I'm over here. Whoops. Let's um, open that. Okay, now by bringing our mouse over it, it should give us a little preview of that window. Okay. Now, if we want to, we can make sure that preview comes up a little bit quicker than normal. Okay. And there's a little registry tweak we can use for that. 
Okay, now let's see how we do in the registry editor to basically enable the preview time once we bring our mouse over it. Okay, how quickly that comes up. Okay, we need to open the registry editor, so we can do that by just going in there and typing reg edit. Okay, and then click on that, run it. It'll ask for a user account control prompt. Just click yes. And then we need to go to this particular location, which is basically H key current user, then software, then Microsoft, then go all the way down, then go to Windows, current version, Explorer. Okay, so once we're in Explorer, we basically need to go to Advanced. Once we're in Advanced, you'll see this list over here, but we need to create another little key. Okay, so basically, you can right click on it, click No, click basically D Word 32 bit. Oops, I think we did a little bit of a different one. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Delete. That's fine. Right click on that. New D word 32. Okay. And now we need to give it a name called EXTEND extend and did extended UI user interface hover time. Extended UI hover time. Excellent. Now you can double click on that, open that up. And now you want to give it a value, okay? You might want to give it, shall we say, 100 milliseconds, okay? That makes it a little bit faster. Okay, make sure it is in decimal. Okay, let's give it a 100. Okay, so that makes it a little bit faster. Now what you're going to need to do is restart your computer, and when you restart, all these things will come up a little bit faster. You see the little bit of a delay? It should be a little bit faster. Okay, if you want to slow it down, you can also slow it down. That's the registry technique. Okay, now let's create a quick launch toolbar. Okay, how do we do that? Basically, what we need to do is very simple. Click over here, right click, go to toolbars, new toolbar. Okay, now you can basically type in, for example, percentage app. Data percentage forwards. Sorry, backslash. And then you can go to Microsoft backslash. Then, for example, Internet Explorer backslash quick launch. There we go. It's already there. Select that. Select that. And now it creates a quick launch for us. What we want to do is now modify it. So we can right click on that, get rid of the show title. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at how do we customize this notification area. Bring the mouse roughly about here and then click customize notifications area. Now you can remove all these things or you can show them. Okay. For example, the power button. Okay. You can remove that. Okay. Hide icon and notifications. There goes power. Bye bye network. Okay, network's gone. And you've got the general idea. Okay, so basically all the way down. Okay, turn system icons on or off. Okay, you can get rid of the clock, volume, etc. Behaviors on or off. Okay. There we go. So all the way down like this. Very, very straightforward. You can completely customize the entire toolbar, as we've seen over here. And as you know, you can add programs to it. For example, you open up Internet Explorer or Notepad, for example. In this case, just open up Notepad. It's over there. You can pin it to the taskbar. Okay, you close Notepad. Notepad is still there. You can add extra programs. You can delete programs by just right-clicking them unpin from this taskbar. Okay, finally, let's have a quick look at how to customize our taskbar, okay, using group policy. What do we need to do? We go over here and type in gpedit.msc. 
Okay, click on that and it brings up this. Go into user configuration, administrative templates, start menu and taskbar. And then we're basically going to be able to create, well, uh, edit all the issues from the taskbar. Okay, now basically looking at the list, there's so many things that you can do to the taskbar over here and the start menu. Okay, as an example, what we have done, we have basically taken out our network icon. If we remember before, we had the networking icon over there. If we go over here and basically customize notification icons. Okay. You will see the network one is gone from here. We don't have that one on. Let's try here. Network is blocked out. Okay. So basically, there's so many, so many things that we can do. For example, if we want to get rid of this battery meter and make sure that it can't even be brought back over here, you just click on enable. Okay. Whoops. Click OK. And then it's still here. You need to basically log off and log back on or restart your computer and then it works. Because there's so many things to customize over here. Have a look through it. Um, if you always need to, you can always come back and just reset it to the original state. Like, for example, it was not configured. Turn off personalized menus. Just go back to not configured. And then restart your computer or log out and log back in. That'll be fine. Same like for this. Okay, if we want to get our network icon back, not configured, apply, log out, log back in, or restart. Okay, hopefully this helped.